everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalie and my channel is all about luxury, vintage, fashion, and styling. So if you're interested in any of those, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. So today's video is gonna be all about my contemporary bag collection. So my bag's under about $600. I have a good amount of bags and you guys requested this after I did my luxury handbag collection video, which if you haven't seen that, I will link that down in the description box for you guys to check out. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna try not to talk too much about each bag. Um, if I have any related videos for any of these, I will pop them down in the description box for you guys to watch as well. Um, so let's get right into it. If you wanna see more videos about any of these, just write that down there for me. But the first one I wanna show is actually one I haven't showed on here before. So this bag is from a brand called Pevery. It's a small brand based in the UK and the owner Brandon actually makes these all by hand. So these are handmade bags. You custom make them. You pick the leathers, the interior, the hardware, the size. It's very cool. So it's definitely giving mini Kelly vibes. I went with the 20 centimeter version and I have been wanting an olive green bag for so long. I just never have found the perfect one. And when I saw this, I knew that I wanted it. So I saw the leather, obviously, um, and I just picked all the details that I wanted on it. So here is a close up. And for a small bag, it actually holds a ton. So this is an old phone, but just for like measurement's sake, I mean, that fits in there super easily. As you can see, it fits wallet, um, keys, it fits sunglasses, like it can fit all your essentials in here for sure. And there's different types of leather you can pick. So if you're more of like a Safiano leather kind of person, you can pick that. Um, but it's so beautiful. It's so cool to see like this bag actually being made. Um, it's amazing. And so I picked like a natural calf interior. You can get your initials in there. It has feet. It has a detachable strap, which is really nice. Um, so if you're looking for like a luxe bag without the price tag, I feel like this is the perfect one. I think this one was probably around, um, 450 pounds ish is I think where it was kind of like starting in that range and just depending on the finishes and stuff. Um, but it's totally custom. You just shoot them a message if you're interested and they can kind of give you price points and, um, the specs and all. So really cool. I definitely wanted to mention that and talk a little bit more about it just because I haven't ever shared this bag before. Another little bag that I feel like gets a ton of attention is this cute little silk bag. This is from a small brand called NLA. Um, the owner, Natalie, which, you know, I love her name because I'm Natalie too, um, makes these beautiful silk bags. They're very row-esque, um, but different. So let me open this up. They are mini, but they definitely hold a good amount just because of, you know, the fabric and that they're slouchy. So I can fit all my essentials in here as well. Phone, um, small wallet, you know, keys. Sunglasses are like a bit of a snug fit if you want the magnetic to actually close. And it does have a magnetic closure here. And it's just a really beautiful evening bag. I picked the champagne color, which was their most popular color. Um, I will say though that it is delicate. So just something to be mindful of if you're someone who you feel like are not careful with your bags. Maybe I'd go for a darker color or she actually just started offering it in leather, which is super cool. I think that one looks amazing. Um, so yeah, just be mindful if you do pick a lighter one because it is silk. So, you know, it's delicate, like it'll pull on things or it can get stained easily. So just something to be mindful of, but it's such a beautiful bag. It's really beautiful silk um, and I love it. So. That is the next bag in my collection. The next bag is from a brand called Vasic. They are based in Japan and I really loved the style. So first a gray bag. I really wanted a gray bag in my collection. I love the handle. So it's a knot in the front and it's like a drawstring, but it's kind of cool because you can either wear it like this with the longer strap and kind of strap it over or you can pull these long wise and then have it kind of like a top handle like this so you can definitely play around with the way you wear it there's different sizes and they have different shapes of their bags too but this was just the one i was most drawn to really cool again beautiful leather um i think the quality is very nice for the price 
and just like a cool different style and I like that there's no hardware on it you can see like the even the covers of the metal are in leather so it's just like minimal no hardware no fuss to worry about that and yeah I really like it it's a nice like hard wearing leather as well um, I haven't had any like issues with it and it carries a ton. So the next bag is probably the one I used the most out of this collection. It is a Songmont bag. This is called the Song Bag. This is in the medium size. And I did like a mini review when I first received this bag and actually like I've gotten so much feedback on that video. Um, it not sponsored. And I will say that some of these have been gifted from me, but um, my opinions are all my own. This is not like a sponsored video. I don't have to say anything about these bags. Um, so these are all just my like personal opinions on them. This bag, um, I really like, and I find so practical. So I reach for this all the time, just in like my day to day. So like, I'll take this to the gym and like, put it in the cubby. Like I just, I don't know. It's one that it's a beautiful quality bag, but it's not one I have to baby or worry about. So I really like that. Um, it has feet on the bottom. It's pebbled leather. Like it just had that like really nice smell when I first got it, um, which I like, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's a very nice quality bag, honestly. Um, it has the detachable strap here, which I leave on cause it's nice to throw over the shoulder. It's very easy to get in and out. It has a magnetic closure. It fits a ton. So like you can see, this is where like I usually use for my wallet. It's my like mini pochette that fits in there easy. Some sunglasses. And then I have a ton of room for extra things. So it carries all my stuff, even like my water bottle. Because stuff can stick out of it, I find it's just very easy. So a great bag in my collection. So this is a new bag in my collection as well. It's from the brand Yee C. And I haven't gotten to wear it much yet, so I don't have like a full review to give. But I really love the style. I think it's so cool. And again, this comes in different sizes. Um, I went for this size really because this leather color I really wanted. This is the only size it came in. So I picked this because of the leather color, which I think is a beautiful like coffee color. I thought the top was so interesting and it's pretty spacious. It's um, suede lined on the inside. Um, I just had that to keep it shaped, but they actually fold up, which I think is really cool. Um, on their website, they show the different ways all their bags like fold up. So they make it super easy for traveling, which I love. That's like a genius idea. And I just really liked the unique kind of shape. You'll see a lot of these bags um, when I'm going for like a more contemporary style bag. I go for like the more interesting and unique pieces because I feel like that's what's so fun about handbags. I'm not someone who only carries luxury bags and that's it. You know, my taste is all over the place. I love vintage. I love funky, like cool bags. So um, no different with these. Um, I obviously like a quality bag, but like I love different like shapes and designs. So this is a really cool brand to check out. So the next brand, I actually have like three bags from, so I'll just buzz through them really quick. Um, Leck Project. So I have this bag, which is canvas, and they do all vegan leather to make notes. So these are all vegan leather bags. I have this one. I have this giant tote, which we'll leave here. And I have this bag, which has a zip and a shoulder on it. So I would say that I use this one the most out of the three, just because I thought I would use the big ones more just because like I carry a diaper bag and I'm like, okay, that I can just throw all my stuff in that. But honestly, I just don't switch out of my original diaper bag. So, um, these ones, I just don't end up using a lot. I think maybe down the line when I don't have to rely so much on a diaper bag for my son that I could use these on a daily basis. Um, but this one is just so great. I love this for travel. Um, I took this with me when I took a trip to New York back in October and it was so handy. It's very easy to pack. I like that it has a strap for daytime, but also, you know, nighttime I can use it as a clutch and just tuck the strap in makes it very easy. And the price points on these are really great. They're usually like, I think hundred to 150 ish dollars. So very reasonably priced for what they are. Um, very nice quality if you're looking for the vegan leather bag. Another brand that I really like is Verified. So they are a very cool brand based in New York. And I absolutely love this bag. So I have this bag and this bag from them. This bag also from them, this little like baguette bag. So really cool, beautiful, like minimal style, which you know I love. These are real leather. And I love that this one, so this is the cloud bag. This is their most popular style. It's just like very cool with that like top handle and that like puffy leather. 
I love it. It holds a good amount. And I love that it has, so it comes with this like chain strap. And then you can have optional different straps. They have like gold ones, these little like marble acrylic ones, different things you can pick. So I love that you can like customize it and it comes in different colors. This one's probably my favorite just because of how unique it is. I love the little ring handle. I just think that's so beautiful. It's almost like jewelry on a bag. And it's really cool because you can kind of like expand it open like that to get in and out. It's obviously like on the smaller side, but I feel like it still holds a good amount, holds on my essentials. And yeah, like a really cool, unique bag to check out. The price points again are great on these for leather, especially. So yeah, these are my three bags from Verified. I have this little belt bag from Ella, which is nice. Um, it's vegan leather croc. And this is from like a collab line they had, but I really like this just for like mom on the go. If I want to hold like my essentials here versus putting them in the diaper bag, this is really nice. And I usually wear it like this, even though it's a belt bag, I usually wear my belt bags kind of like crossbody like this, but you can also wear it around the waist. It's adjustable and yeah, like really cool. And it has like kind of a gunmetal hardware on it, which is cool. Very minimal. I think this came in an orange as well. But yeah, just like a super easy little casual bag. This little guy is from Merlette and they are known for like, they're kind of like weaving on their fabrics. So I love the little like pop in this bag. You can see the weaving color. These also come in like black, but I chose this just because I thought this was like a beautiful color for spring and just like a cool bag, like something very different again with this fabric. Um, and it does have a strap, I have it in here holds a decent amount, but just like cool, different, like something you could wear day or night. I mean, and it's cute, right? Like so cute. Um, yeah, very fun bag in my collection. So I have this little micro boy bag. I've had this one for a while. Super cute, obviously doesn't hold much. It's more like an accessory than um, a handbag. You could probably fit like a couple cards in here, like a lipstick, some keys that don't have like a bunch of stuff on them. And it has their little strap that's removable. I've styled this before with my Lueve bag strap, which looks kind of cool. Um, you can also use it as like, it comes with a little bit of leather where you can use it as like a charm on your other bag. So you could style it like that if you wanted, but yeah, just like a cute little fun like bag. I mean, who doesn't love like a little mini bag? It's so cute. And I loved the colorway of it. So that's what drew me to it. Boy is like a very cool brand if you haven't heard from them before. I used to have another boy bag in pink and I really like that, but I mean, I just wasn't, I'm not like a big color person. So I don't know why I bought the pink. So I ended up selling that one, but I still have this one in my collection. And I have this fun bag. This is from Amazon actually. Um, you know, the rhinestone bags are such a trend these days but um, I didn't want to invest in like the Colt Gaia version, which is like similar, but different to this one. Um, but I just actually wear this a ton for like, for what it is, you know, I actually get more use than I thought I would out of it. It's just very fun for like evenings, just to have like a little pop. I especially love this like in summertime. I just feel like it's so pretty to add like a little touch and like interest to an outfit, especially when it's summer and it's hot and you can't wear a lot of layers i feel like this adds like a lot to your outfit detail wise um you wouldn't necessarily be getting by wearing more layers of an outfit so very cool i think it's about 50 dollars. i will link it down in the description box if it's still available i'm sure it is so i will put that there for you guys so that was mainly it i may have another like couple bags randomly around here but i'd say that those are like the main contemporary bags in my collection if you want to see me style these bags, I have them all over on my Instagram styled. So I will put my name on the screen. Definitely check me out there. I style like my daily outfits, um, a ton of like links. I do all the time in stories. If you're someone who loves handbags, luxury stuff, I'm always putting links in my stories for you guys to shop, especially when I find like amazing vintage deals. I always pop them there. Um, because it has to be done like in real time stuff sells so quickly. If you have any questions about them, you can leave it down in the comments. I will be sure to respond. If you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. So I know that you enjoy this type of content and please subscribe if you are not already until next time. Take care. Bye.